Welcome back viewers, we are doing another giveaway. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment on this video for a chance to win a free set of night vision goggles. This video is not suitable for anyone under the ages of 18. Viewer discretion is advised. Missing. Two men were missing. Missing firefighter who's missing. Or a missing husband. People have been reported missing. Missing teenagers since. Got a missing girl and woman is missing. Her missing. Mysterious disappearance is missing. Missing. Missing persons cases in National Forest have been an ongoing mystery for some time now. There have been over 600,000 cases of missing people reported every year. The similarity in Bigfoot sightings and missing people reports are alarming. Don't take our word for it. Look into it. Everything you are seeing and hearing is all public information. Sometimes the truth is right under your nose and the truth is scary. For example, here is a case of an 85-year-old man that was found dead. The man was attacked by an unknown animal. The extent of the wounds was horrific. Officials stated they weren't from a known animal. Here is another case worth noting. The patient is a 30-year-old female who presented to the ED in extreme pain after walking in the woods and being attacked by an unknown animal. There were significant wounds to her left leg, forearm, shoulder, back, ear and face with substantial skin, subcutaneous tissue, and muscle damage. Dilemma is incurred when the attacking assailant is unknown, for which management protocols have little data, which are vague and broad. As a Bigfoot researcher, one may discover that report documentation is often inefficient, although there are exceptions with some organizations mapping sightings and encounters. Private surveys indicate that over 75,000 reports have been documented by these organizations, while YouTube and podcasts suggest that over 500,000 episodes feature interviews or are based on email submissions. Bigfoot sightings and encounters should not be dismissed as mere campfire tales. A significant number of these reports come from law enforcement, park rangers, and government officials. One might wonder why such individuals would fabricate such stories and risk their reputations. These are valid questions, but consider this. What if even one of them is telling the truth? With that in mind, the Half-Inch Wrench crew has vowed to do their utmost to capture footage of the creature known as Bigfoot. And with generations of family encounters, one might think these experiences wouldn't be too far-fetched. Yet the things they have experienced are, nonetheless, unexplainable. So, if you believe in the unexplained, then you should probably tag along. In America today, there are 640 million acres of government-protected land which constitutes 28% of the U.S., this expanse is more than sufficient to sustain large predators. From a researcher's standpoint, it's perplexing why some people doubt the possibility of undiscovered species roaming the vast American wilderness. Each year, between 15,000 to 18,000 new species are discovered, and in one instance, 503 of those were primates. In 1990, the white-tailed deer population was estimated at 850,000. Due to human development, the population has increased to 36 million by 2024. Human development has compelled animals to follow more concentrated paths, leading to an increase in their populations. This impacts all species that migrate regularly, and it is reasonable to assume that it would affect the Sasquatch population as well. Uh. I was like, the Jeep's cool and all, but what's that behind it? And he's like, what? How would you describe the sound? Different. Talking? Yeah, it sounded like talking. Like that talking I've caught before. I told it to get, and it wasn't welcome right now. High-pitched, low-pitched, it's 
both. Yeah. It's all the above. It sounds like native tongue. It does. Like, you know, that video of that guy talking to one, that's what it sounds like. Oh, uh, with the fence? You know what it sounds like to me? The Sahara sounds. That's it. That's exactly what it is. The Sahara sounds. That's, that's what it sounds like when we were dead. So, so the other night we were talking about all the houses that we've lost on Shelby's property. Grandma lost the first cabin to fire, all explained. The flood, the dam broke, washed them away. We got Grandma Gussie's house side by side. Uncle Gould's house burnt. The only thing that lived was his podium pole. Then when Shelby inherited the property, him and Sabrina and his family moved in and then it burnt. And me and Brittany were talking about it. Like, hey, don't you think it's a little weird? No insurance every single time. No insurance. Well, me and Brittany were talking about it the other night, how weird that is. And our smoke alarm starts going off. Just start blaring in the hallway, and I jump up like, "Oh my God, the house's on fire! What's what's on what's on fire?" Freaking out, running around the house. There isn't no smoke. I got it. When we first started doing these investigations, I was actually questioning myself. Like every time we go out, something bad happens. Every time. Strange events such as these are not uncommon in the Bigfoot community. Take, for instance, the alleged story of Portlock, Alaska, where multiple mysterious fires were reported. These tales recount a town besieged by a creature resembling a Sasquatch, which purportedly preyed upon and assaulted the townspeople. This entity was implicated in a series of enigmatic deaths and vanishings, prompting a widespread departure of the town's populace. We first bought this house. <clears throat> we bought it on a courthouse step. Now, Adams talked about this, but there's a little more to it. You know, we we had to clean the house out, and it was it was full. It was just plumb full of everything, and they just left. They walked off and they left everything, closed everything, like you said. But in between the living room and the kitchen. There was carpet, and then linoleum. And linoleum in the kitchen, carpet in the living room. Right there, basically where the table is, carpet, there was a great big spot of blood. You remember that, Adam? Mm -hmm. And we were like, is that? We could like put that like, is that blood? We took sort of carpet out of it, you know? And uh, that 
there was a big spot of blood on the floor and there's a big footprint in the blood and you can see one footprint that went out the back door and I, I was like literally I saw it right there how high was it did you point could you point to it on the window well, it was low. Can you go up there and point to me where you see the face? Mm. It's okay. It's gone. I can't hear you. You cannot hurt us. Go away. You're not allowed here. You're not welcome. It was right In there. In Jesus' name, leave our property. It was right there right by the bucket. And it scared me. It's not just open? Mm-hmm. Like, can you, can you show me? Like it that? scared me. Come on. I just put my hair on this all the things. It scared me and I put my hair. Kiss her. Oh, hold on, hold on. Look at it now. Can you see it now? No, I think I see I, what you're seeing. Do you have big eyes? I just saw uh, round, round, round. It scared me. That's so what I saw it in the in the in the whole face faces up the nose. About three years ago, two and a half, three years ago, me and my significant other bought this house from mom and dad. And there has been subtle paranormal activity. The paranormal stuff that's been happening here has been scaring my family. And so I'm not sure what she's seen looking in the window. I know a lot of people say, why are you still there? Why don't you just move? People talk like it's so easy to do that. And honestly, I don't know if I'd want to do that to somebody else. This is our burden, and we're going to deal with it. Or whatever way that we can. We're not, we're not made of money. We all have daytime jobs, nine to fives. And we're not going to let this control our lives and run us out of our home. If you're out there and you're watching this and you've had an experience, you're obviously watching this video because you're looking for somebody to talk to or some kind of answers. And this video got to you because this is your sign. This is your sign that you should reach out to someone and talk to.